I was at the shop today, but I may have to go down and get bags and boards tomorrow. Mm-hmm. You and Asa can play Pokemon Go for me while me and Adam deal with this. Oh, I, I, that would be my dream, Joe. Mm-hmm. So, um, the show could already be starting. All right, that's fine. Do you want to talk about the other action figure thing that's been going on lately on the show? Uh, my action figure? Sure, you want to? No, no. Uh, well, again, oh, not your sorry, action I figure. I got one per today. Se. That's what threw me off. That's what threw me off. <laughs> but I think I know the other one that you're talking about. Yes. Where they're ladling our warmth. Mm, well, that's what I want to talk to you about. Okay. Um, but you know what? Uh, I might keep in some of the stuff about uh, just like the tail end of what we were talking. Tune into At Odds with Wrestling this week <laughs> to really get into the weeds on what happened with the Zombie Sailor toys, heels and faces figures, if you care. Right. Might right. Be more information by then. So you got your um, Ninja Turtle stuff in, and I knew it was coming. Because I saw people all over social media uh, posting their uh, their stuff. Right. So then you were like cryptic tweet about something like, oh, I know Todd's getting his stuff because I've seen like a couple other people posting it. So, yeah. And it just happened to be that the guy who I pre-ordered off of him back in September, like, yeah. he put one up on eBay and I was like, oh, it's the only one. And I was like, oh, whatever, I'll buy it. And it was, I mean, because I got the whole box, like, let's just put it this way. If I had gone and if I had waited, I could have got the figure alone for 30 bucks less. But then I wouldn't have got the shirt that won't fit me, the pin and the fanny pack. So, but I, I kind of wanted them all. So uh, I didn't care about the shirts because none of the shirts are going to fit me anyway. But the disaster that that was, Joe, uh-huh. like loot crate, like obviously this was, I, and we've been over this before, but. It got worse since I talked to you last. All right, they 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 did the the four crates series. If you get all four, you get the fifth exclusive figure or something like that. So one comes out, they ship half of them, and half the people don't get them. There's things in there that were Mirage that were in the movie crate, the first one. So I'm like, oh, well, I ended up buying. There was like a coaster. I said, I bought that. I bet that was supposed to be in the third box, which was the Mirage box that I got. And I was like, oh, okay. Um, so then they're like months and months go by. People are complaining. They're working on class action lawsuits to go after loot crate. Cause nothing's shipping um, there. They were in a, a chapter 11 years ago and NECA bought loot crate out. Yeah. So they, all that. Right. So they're like, okay, well all of a sudden stuff just starts shipping out. All this stuff starts shipping out. And the boxes are coming in. They're like, we're just going to skip two and go straight to the Mirage one. I'm like, don't care. That's the one I pre-ordered off of this guy. I want it. They're sending out the loot crates with uh, everybody's getting the wrong size shirts to whatever they ordered. Um, Then half the people were getting shirts that were from a loot crate like a year and a half ago. So I'm feeling like they ha- whatever they had in their warehouse, they were just throwing in to like say they could ship these out. And um, some people weren't getting all the stuff in the loot crate thing. I'm like, I got mine. I got a medium shirt. I'm happy. I wasn't going to wear it. I just want to have it for the collection. Um, Got my figure. It looks pretty good. I will say the guy who I bought it off of was a lot nicer than loot crate. Like loot crate set the box. He's like, I got the box. He's like, there's no, it's just a black box tape shut. And then he's like, I open it up and the shirt's in there, the fanny pack's in there, the pin and the figure, but there's no packing in the the box. Now, I'll ask, not to interrupt here, but you said it's a black box. I remember back in the day when I used to get the loot, loot crates, at least it'd be like a black box. Yes, but the box would say loot crate on the outside and have mm-hmm. like a funky design on the inside. Did these boxes have that or were they just like generic black boxes? They were black boxes generic inside white but they had a sticker on them that said loot crate tmnt like whatever the okay okay the, the, uh like uh whatever the the thing was called so there it is but it didn't have like the individual crates it was just like boom the teenage mutant Ninja turtle exclusive 
loot crates. I was like, okay, they were just stuck on, but in the face group group that I'm in for these loot crate things, half the people weren't even getting the sticker on their box. And I'm like, I don't care. So the guy gets this box and he's like, here it is. I open it up, take a picture. Everything looks good. He's like, I'm going to put it. And he put in newspaper, bubble wrap, uh, like all this stuff to keep the, the, the shit from moving around. And then he's like, he's like, then I'm putting it inside a big, bad toy story, uh, toy store box. So it's double protected and I'm going to ship it out to you. And it got here. Like he shipped it out. Uh, the day he shipped it out Saturday in the afternoon, just before the post office closed and it got here today. So it shipped Sunday, 4th of July and came today. And I was like, I don't care. I love it. I will say there was a little bit of goo, like, like, uh, like if there was a sticker on the side of the figure that was gone, I don't know how to explain it, but you could feel that residue. Yeah. 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 So I got to kind of figure out how to get that off something. And when you touch it, you're like, okay, that was, yeah. Right, right. And the other thing is, I don't care as much. Like, the front of the box has a little wear on it from sliding in the box with no uh, packing. But the guy, you know, fixed that when he when he put it in to, you know, to whatever. So I'm not even, I'm not even, this guy went above and beyond. And he was, you know, constantly answering my emails whenever I contacted him. Even though it wasn't like all the time. It was like every two months. I'm like, hey. I'm just contacting you to keep the lines of communication open. This isn't like, I know they're not shipping, but um, I don't want this to disappear in the eBay. You know what I mean? Purchases like after yeah. so long it disappears. So at least we'll have the messages. Like if it's because it was eBay. So you probably paid through PayPal, right? Yeah. And I think if it gets to something like 30 days or 60 days, even if you guys have agreed upon it, on the sixty mm-hmm. first day, he could just be like, "Screw you." Yep, yep. And then he asked me, he's like, "Oh, well, you know what? Send me your email, and I'll have that in case this all goes away in eBay." And I was like, "Okay," but it wouldn't let me send. I don't know if it wouldn't let me, but he wasn't getting my messages with my email in it. So huh? Interesting. I think they have it set up so you can't. They don't. Well, they don't want you doing business outside of eBay. You know what I mean? But yeah, yeah. It's like you know when I send people money through PayPal that are supposed to be for certain things. Mm -hmm. I don't write Patreon. I use like words that, when said together, could kind of sort of sound like Patreon, right? That's right. Right. You have to use coded language. It's almost like a P A Y tree. Yawn. It's yes. almost something like that. Something like that. Yeah. Um, but I think the way that I would get around, because I've done that before with um, Pokemon cards for my kid, where the guy would be like, I'm like, oh, I missed whatever. And I'm like, oh, I have a bunch more, but I could sell them to you for cheaper. What's your email? Mm-hmm. And I'd give him my email, but I would spell out at as opposed to putting the at sign. Right. And write dot as opposed to the dot for dot com. Yep. Yeah. Somebody told somebody also said online too. just take a screen cap of your email and put the picture. Yeah. Yeah. They're like, how are they going to see? You know what I mean? Now I know there's some people that stand by screen recordings and not screen caps, <laughs> but I think that's more so of if you're breaking laws. Well, to be fair, Joe, I will say every time you pay me for the, pay, you know, for the thing that you can't say in PayPal, you take a picture of you, yourself in line going to the PayPal booth. So. Right, I do. To the PayPal <laughs> booth. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, I'm on my way to the PayPal booth. See all the people in front of me? Oh, look at you remembering things. <laughs> I, I hate that I do, Joe. I hate that I do it. Listen, it it makes up for all the Doctor Who knowledge that I shouldn't know. Right. You know, like, three things. I should know. No, listen. I know Eric Roberts. (laughs) I know TARDIS. Right. I know, uh, what's the dog names? Rin Tin Tin? (laughs) Yes, Canine, you prick. Canine, you prick is the dog's name. I don't know how they got that on (laughs) BBC TV, but whatever. Uh Um, But I know TARDISes. I know those Potato Head guys. (laughs) I know uh, Scarf Doctor. I know. What's the name of the planet? Do you remember that at least? Gallifrey. Oh, look at that. Well, you remember that because Gallifrey birds. That's right. 
All right, so you get your Ninja Turtle stuff in. You're gonna burn the shirt, and you're gonna throw the um, the fan the fanny pack away. No, the fanny packs for uh, for taking my Spectrox. Oh, all right, listen, you gotta you gotta have something to keep your pills in. That's right, my ketamine, as we've discussed. But but yeah, so I'm I'm happy. It's I'm on my way. You know what I mean? I got right. another figure, and now I have all my pre-orders which not to go down another thing is uh i had all my toy i had the, all the toys ordered pre-ordered from big bad toy store yes and then uh i'm not going to give anybody any credit who might have sent me a code for entertainment earth um that it was like you put this code in you get free shipping so i ended up like canceling all my big bad toy like the casey joe's the utram and the Ren- the rennet and the last ronin figure Went over to Entertainment Earth, Earth, ordered them all separately. I think two come out the same month, the rest come out different times. And they're like, oh, yeah, these all qualify because you're ordering them all at once. All for free shipping when they come out, even though they come out at different times. Nice. So I'm like, that's a way better deal. And I don't have to pay the upcharge for the collector's jeweler's loop, you know, test kind of thing. I'm like, yeah, I got four figures. I got my four figures cheaper than what I was even going to buy them from uh, at Big Bad Toy Story before they even tacked on shipping with shipping. So I'm like, oh, this is good. So that's where I am. I'm all of a sudden, you know, big, big fig daddy cool, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, being that you are fig daddy cool, Mm -hmm. it was brought to our attention over the weekend uh, this week. That uh, we might have had our own toy line, I guess. Yeah, I was waiting to see Joe and Todd figures. Uh huh. Joe and Todd figures, sure. Mm-hmm. Um. So the pre-orders on those toys in question start tomorrow, and it's a line of toys that you can pre-order through the aforementioned Big Bad Toy Store, and it's a collaboration between Fresh Monkey Fiction and the toy otter right Mm -hmm. and it's a bunch of like your indie comic book types the tick and grendel and the rocketeer and madman and the goon and so forth and the name of the line is long box heroes you know what they should have named it weekly long box (laughs) no one's touched listen no one's touched that name for at least eight years you know Mm -hmm. um so people were bringing it to our attention and, you know, we were having some fun and poking some jokes and that sort of thing on it. Right. Gentle ribbing all around. Right. Right. And I talked to some other folks about it and people had suggested to me that, uh, asked me if I had an LLC on a uh, long box heroes and I don't, you know, it's, right. who thinks of these things. Right. Right. And then I was told that because we have, uh, over five years of use on that name and, Whatever, we can go ahead and file the LLC and trademark today, and it goes through in perpetuity for the time that we've been doing the show. Ooh, okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, okay, I could do that. And that makes me think back to many, many years ago when I left Chikara. Um, I had a couple people suggest to me to do what Jesse Ventura did. And no, no, and that's not move to Mexico to live off the grid. And no, no, that wasn't become best friends with Alex Jones. Oh, my God. Um, so Jesse, after he left World Wrestling Entertainment, he sued WWE for use of his voice on home video. And he won the case. So they had to cut Jesse a check. And while the case was going on, and new videotapes were coming out, they were either purposely using matches that Jesse wasn't on commentary for, or they were editing out Jesse's commentary. Okay. So I had a couple people suggest to me that obviously since I was as low as low as it gets on the totem pole at Chikara, that I should have went and I should have trademarked Leonard F. Chikarison, uh, trademarked my voice and all this other stuff, to get all of the shows that I did commentary on for Chikara, you know, 11 years worth of shows, <laughs> pulled off any sort of monetary whatever uh, things. And I'm like, I really can't do that. 
Because there's a lot of people that's that's going to hurt way more people than the one person that everyone wants it to hurt, you know? Right. And then, honest, I like honestly, my mind goes to, well, you know, the company's name's Chikars, and so you're like a subsidy. I don't know. I, I, that's where right. I'm, I yeah. don't, do you know what I'm saying? Like legalese, you never know. You never know. It's just that I know the person who ran Chikar was very big on, um. You know, making sure to copyright and trademark everyone's shit. And I know that in doing so, he probably never thought to do mine. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's all. So I decided instead I'm going to reach out to these folks, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and I did get a reply from Bill at Fresh Monkey Fiction, right? Yes. Now, I sent them a message essentially just saying, like, hey, you know, I saw that you guys rolled the thing out. You know, you guys, you know, your toy line has the same name as our podcast. Ha ha. Um, and I noticed that I'm like, oh, you know, uh, I noticed some of your partners sending announcements were doing a great job. But others, eh, maybe not so much. Because um, I don't know, as, as people were sending you the announcements, I was seeing, like, them tagging the wrong accounts, misspelling the links. Mm-hmm. Getting all sorts of stuff wrong, right? So they pushed back and they essentially just said, uh, do you all do guests on your show? Uh, we can come on or we can figure out something. So this is when I ask you, Todd, um, what, what do you want to do with this? You want to you wanna, like reach out to these guys and have them on the show and talk about them, talk about the figures? Do you want to just kind of let things be? Okay, let me put it this way. Where's your mind at? I don't know. See, I, I don't mean, know uh, what I was going to get when I reached out to them. But I didn't know. I didn't. I, to be completely honest with you, as I mentioned before we started recording, I didn't expect a response. I jo- like in my mind, I was thinking like as everybody was tagging us and being like, hey, like this and that. I'm like, when is the cease and desist order going to hit our email? Yeah, or when are we going to get blocked by their account? Or right, one or the something. something. Um, I mean, if they want to play fair, I mean, not, I'm not, well, you know, whatever. Like, I wouldn't care if they were on the show. I would love to talk about figures, you know. Oh, okay. So, but as, go ahead, right. go ahead, go ahead. No, I was going to say, and it is what it is. I mean, like, eh, Maybe, maybe like while we're talking, you know, we get some figures. I, I, I don't know. I'm not like, I'm not, I don't, I, I am the worst businessman on the face of the earth. My Cinnabon's going under. Like, so, <laughs> I don't know what to do. You know, I'm, I have, I have, what is it? Decision par- paralysis. Um, you know, you give me a choice and I freak out and then you take one choice away and I only have one choice and then it's, oh my God, I still have a choice. Do I or don't I? So that's the way my brain works. So literally as we're recording, I get a message from the other guy. Oh, okay. So, hey Joe, sorry, I'm not much of a Twitter person. He is, a, side note, he is an Instagram guy and I am not an Instagram guy, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so he's like, I'm not a Twitter person. I didn't realize that it doesn't show messages on desktop version of Twitter. So already that's a plus because I'm a desktop Twitter version as well. Uh, he says, yeah, we discovered you guys last week when debating whether or not to register a domain for the line and saw that somebody already had it. Uh, we've been working on this for over a year. Our lawyers ran trademark searches that came up empty. So we were so focused on toy application. I don't know why it never came up uh, to search other media. Uh, anyway, I'd love to do something with you guys. Uh, I told my partner, Bill, that I got the message. And he said he also wrote back, so I would coordinate with him. Um, thanks for reaching out. This week has been absolutely crazy trying to get everything done for the launch. So they don't seem like they're jerks. They don't seem like they're what have you, right? Right. Um, now, like I said, I did see that they did just announce as we're... Uh, recording the show that the pre-order goes live uh, Wednesday as we record, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, it doesn't say how long the pre-order goes for, and I know you are busy this weekend. Right. Um, And I know we're recording 
Patreon on Sunday this week. Maybe Saturday, you never know. Maybe Saturday, right. Saturday or Sunday. Um, what are your thoughts and feelings about maybe reaching out to these guys maybe on Monday? I'm fine with that. And recording something maybe to drop in with next week's show. We could do that. All right. So when we're done recording here, I'm just going to push to them um, just to see if that would be, um, you know, okay for them to record something if they wanted to and just kind of figure something out from there. Just in the happy coincidence that their toy line is named what our podcast is, you know? Right, right. So, yeah, I'm, I'm fine with that. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I'll, we'll see how that goes. Uh, I'm glad that Todd didn't come on like, no, let's burn these guys to the ground, you know? <laughs> that's not my style on a hot mic, Joe. I'll, on a hot mic, that's the important thing. All right. <laughs> right. On a hot mic. That's why I wanted to do it on air. I gave you the heads up before we recorded that we were going to talk about it. Yeah, you. I mean, you sent me like we talked, like text yeah. and email, and I'm like, okay, like this isn't something that I felt like. I mean, I figured it was going to be after dark material, unless you were like, let's burn this mother down. But uh, yeah, I, I, I was like, ah, I can wait. You know what I mean? I don't, I, I don't function well talking directly to you. Never mind text and or email. So because <laughs> things get confusing, like who needs the number of episodes? You know? in tech in uh, emails and stuff like that so right yeah i so, sent the email early so i was hazy i know i got the email like at 8 30 and i went what's wrong yeah and then i started noticing things and i'm like it's asking me questions that don't make any sense <laughs> okay mm-hmm. yeah like i said it was an early morning for me mm-hmm. um so i guess last but not least uh before we wrap up uh after dark it's the summer so it's been and and i've been free for a couple years todd but what returned this weekend uh i don't know what returned this oh uh stranger things no 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 that or i haven't watched that yet but i'm gonna eventually right i don't know what returned this weekend (laughs) my bloated foot oh my goodness (laughs) bloat foot is it's bloat foot season it's bloat foot season i i had avoided it like the last two years uh but i will admittedly say that i have been eating very poorly even for me which is a very low bar and i felt it coming uh friday so i started taking my preemptive steps um and I woke up Saturday morning and it was just my my foot, which is all my foot, and my ankle were just disgustingly swollen. And they are still swollen now, but not disgustingly swollen like they were on Saturday, Sunday time. By the time things got to the end of the day on Saturday and into Monday, I was feeling a lot better. But like, you know, I could feel it, you know, mm-hmm. I could feel it there. I hope you, I hope you get better. I hope it shrinks. Yeah, we'll see. Well, you know, listen, uh, once the weather starts getting cooler and I stop eating so poorly, then, you know. Well, 50% of those things are going to happen. Exactly. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I think that's it, right? I think that's a full show, depending on where you started it at. Uh, yeah, it's a full show. All right. So, uh, hey, everyone, this was Longbox Heroes After Dark, episode 399. Ooh, big 400 next week. That's right. And, uh, yeah, you know, uh, patreon.com slash longboxheroes, uh, Amazon affiliate link in the show notes for all the episodes. And uh, you know what to do. Keep doing (laughs) what you're doing, and we'll keep doing what we're doing. Mm -hmm. See you next week, everybody.